Hey there, this is Athro. Welcome back to Spirit Fair. We're still in a rainstorm. I think we're moving again, though. So, let's see where we go. Actually, let's check our inventory real quick. 32 wood logs. 13 lightning in a bottle. Limestone, popcorn. What about that... Find a, pa find a passenger and hummingbird. Okay. No shenanigans. What was that? I got like a I got like a really cool looking necklace. Where's that at? Special. Here it is. Oh, going far into the side. Tchotchkes. Necklace. Up close is actually made of plastic. He made us jump in the water for nothing. Several amount of glimpse. Oh, I got two of them. Okay. Um. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, forgot to wake everybody up. Good morning, Stella. Oh, need to feed you. You get. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Glad you came to talk to me. Like I said earlier, if we need more people on this boat, new passengers. There's got to be a few people around. Lost like I was. Well, maybe not exactly like me. I'm aware of a few things that might go unnoticed by most. That's probably why father was always suspicious of me, and why mom gave me a hard time for it. Sprout! Oop. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. Just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you or see you right now. Running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls. Really warms the heart. Glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try to make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Thanks for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Well. How about some squid? Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. Can't get enough of it. Recently hugged, has eaten a meal he likes. Likes everything, dislikes nothing. Okay. Harvest wood makes planks. Okay. Let's see if we have any. Corn. Coffee. Let's plant some other stuff here. Corn, coffee. The linen was like a flower. That's interesting. Question is, before I go out on the island, can I build? I can build a garden. I can plant. I can plant in here. Carrots, turnips, and more carrots. All right. Let's go get that double jump ability, shall we? And find someone else to get on our boat. Or if it's the raccoon. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. Oh, no.
Sweet, double jump. Oh, sweet, roof slide. Vibrant necklace. See, we can go up on the second tier. Gwen, I'm browsing for some fiber. You're still if I recall correctly. I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny gloves. Don't be shy, have a look if you fancy. I don't have enough by the key. Got too many seeds. I can't get in there. We made it! What good moves get up here? Kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, might as well get better. I don't have a membership card for you. Be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'll show you a secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. You're kind of a douche. Yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have to be a full service. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite a pitch for you. We have a sheep. Sheep. Serious crew forever. Get at it on the outside. More seeds. Oh. Makes the sound bench. What? Oh. Give me such a fright. That cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh yes. Yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. Is that your boat over there at the sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well... Not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. So, maybe Stella used to be a teacher? So, we have Gwen, who I'm assuming was Stella's best friend. Spinny jump. Big sis protective best friend. Her uncle, who is a gregarious fisherman. And then this person who apparently still are rescued at some point. Okay. here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I can feel it. I can, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering already. Snake person. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Look at little old silly me. Just I was about to reprimand you for the lack of greenery on your boat. But lo and behold, you've already put together a wonderful little garden. I love it. They planned they planned for sequence breaking. Excellent. Yes, I feel you're an you'll be an excellent student, Stella. Well then, it makes us just about ready to start the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. That'll be important. 
Well, let's see now. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love toward all living things. For, you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. As I expected, they grew very much much more vic vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. Plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try planting that piece to your crops. Why well, to play the guitar? Hold why. Oh, nope. Nope, that's... That's watering. Uh, hmm. There he goes. There's a button that's not being displayed. So I've got to fix this controller error. So hold on, I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. I actually, in order to fix the controller issue, had to go get a new controller. Bonkers. All right. Let's see if we cannot play music for our plants now. Oh, that's much better. Does this just keep looping infinitely? You see, have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, the emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers may know you how to play some music too. They might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion in the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. Strange coin has been tickling me ever since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. They're opal.
Come on. You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. I'll have to take care of the new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed how by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not an ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know? You've been terrific up to this point. It would be terribly rude for me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, a pretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. Space which I could read and unwind, far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I've seen something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia at times. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Gwen's Lodge. Build Gwen Usonia 1. Gwen's Lodge. Trepid Otter. I guess that's the bigger ship. Oh, actually, I have enough stuff to build it. Got a cucumber mask. Can I play music here? Oh, I can. This song. It sounds so familiar. I only I'm glad this is a slow paced game. Cause rhythm games are not my forte. Ah, okay. So it does stop when everything's fully grown. We got corn for days. Still so adorable. Clear up with my kitty. This game is so adorable. Wakey wakey. I have something to tell you. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think the air I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I am now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they'd be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I believe you look. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes keep being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. 
I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay. Oh, she needs food. I gave her that last time. So, okay, well, let's... Do you need food? You need food. You care. You, you don't really care. But so you're gonna get sweet things. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like that. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old Uncle Atul. You know me. I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. Hold on. Alright. I'll just go stand on the edge of your boat here and take in the splendor, you know? Whoop. Wrong controller. Get rid of that old one. Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. Oh. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Do you have anything to nibble on? Let's see. Have some popcorn. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Do I have any likes or dislikes yet? Do I have any unsettling dreams? Let's give her a hug. Aw, you're sweet. Make some coffee. Black coffee. Oof. Oops. Hmm. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I can't tell you how many cups of coffee I've had in my life. But this one is the best. Thank you very much, Stella. Has eaten her favorite meal. I've got some fiber I bought. I was going to use it to weave some thread for you later. But if you want, I can give it to you now. You want it? I'll keep it for my weaving then. Let's go ahead and let her... I hugged her recently. Let's hug. I like, I like it. She's like stunned for a moment. Like she's not actually going to get a hug. Feeling much better. Now, what are some plants? There's more things in the stove while I'm here. make places nicer. Add lights for the passengers. Can't improve the kitchen. Can't improve the garden. Can't improve the field. Which is that popcorn report birds? I imagine it can be Bunch of fish. Now chart a course. What is that? Quartz dragon. Might as well pick, pick up some uh, resources along the way. Are you doing? You're 
you're doing fine. No favorites or anything like that. The heck? Old bus stop. I wonder if I could have jumped off there. This is a fire. Ah, daggone it. Hell, too overzealous. There's my crates. Perfect. Sea trash. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in here. Bottles. Let's see more sparkly spots. Let me go get the deep barnacle the boat. I still love that Daffle is like riding on her little ball. Sparkle spots. Sleep times. Sleep times. Time to wake everybody up. Wait. Let me see. Make sure there's no spark in space. Nope. Good morning, Sprout. Fish is right. Let's see what else can I cook here. Let's make more coffee. I'll just stay here for that. Oh, I ring the bell. Ooh. Wait, I can cook a log? I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. It doesn't remind you of my old condo in Waverly. Oh, it's the only place I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Well, oh, well. Hmm, I can go for an, an amuse bouche. That's some fiber I bought. Okay, we already talked about the fiber. No, you can keep the fiber. I just noticed the soil actually changed colors when you water. Okay. Alright. Time to set sail.
Mm. I have made a mistake. Mm. Sprout! Mm. Hey, pardon. I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I'm just sure Albert and Albert's shipyard could help you out. Stella? I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief, nothing. It didn't matter to me, but it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I brought you three sisters in that... I brought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mm. Mum was appalled, but you felt better. I wondered how, wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is you were sad in my stead. Mm. The only thing is I couldn't feel myself. Wait, so is Gwen actually her sister sister? Not just a friend? I'm, I kind of feel it's impl some, there's impl implications there. Carrie. Carrie does. Do some more fishing. Small clam bottle. This boat can rock, I can tell you that. This fish is a fighter. Come on, fishy. Get in the boat. Zealous again. Black? That, that was a shrimp. Okay. All that for a shrimp. Grand Halton Bay discovered. More grow veggies. Okay. Oh, Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Do you have anything to nibble on? Sure do. How about some fish? Oh, no. No, no, no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal products. No breast milk or ova. Certainly they were not meant for our consumption. And the meat? No, no. I'm sorry, I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Oh, this rain will never stop. Dislikes non-vegan food. So we have a vegan. Hug. I'm not yet attuned. No, let's go ashore. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my own axe feels. So sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I missed that axe. I've been passing time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. We're gonna find his terrible poetry and we're gonna give it to him. More wood. 
Never enough wood. Oh, Uncle Ac Uncle is here. And he's upset. Wow, berries! These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. These look incredible. All right, so it's same thing. Okay. Shiny thing. Do I have to be like right on it? There we go. Ooh, I got a shiny ring. Valuable ring. What was I supposed to be doing here? I think maybe it's just a resource island. Okay, great snake. Okay, that's, I gotta go talk to the serpent. This was just in the... on the way. These are already planted. Oh, these are already grown. And we're almost the dragon, so I won't bother. Oh, this. I thought that it might be the dragon. I guess it's Evil that would be here. Ooh, he's got something wrong with him. Follow me, follow me, always even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're not intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on his back seem oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve, lo deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Huh. platformer. Okay. Turn it. I am kind of brighting him in the head with a pickaxe, so I guess it, uh, it's understandable why he'd be a little upset. Storm's lasting, and his like weird horror visage is fading. 
Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we ever come across this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Ooh, she got sad. Not a fan of this weather. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Hugged uncle. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine. Was recently hugged, has eaten a meal he likes. Has witnessed the dragon from her past. Stella, dear. Doing good. I've seen you've been talking, taking good care of your plants. That's good. I hope my teachings are in some way helpful. You know, I used to be quite the little soldier. Midfield State University, Agronomical Engineering, class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of those big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land. Several thousand acres. It was to maximize the output of their land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. Crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When insects came, I doused them with poison. When the soil turned gray, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great, powerful stems grew up on these grounds, and plentiful, unnaturally enormous cobs. But underneath all that land lay an unfathomable sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then. Sooner or later. Hug the snake. He hugged the snake. Aw, you're sweet. That, that made her happy. Good. Well, Stella, I'm sure you remember my little sewing machine. I was a diva with a gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know I've always been into textiles. Well, a few years ago, I went with a museum which had tons of different sort of fabric cutting machines. I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on this ship. It'd be a great opportunity to meet for me to teach you a few tricks. I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. You should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resource for it should be simple to find. Just check your blueprint table. All right, so, oh yeah. Let's see looms. I guess we can make like more, more of those. But let's see here. Yeah, I gotta get the drawing board anyway, so we'll probably add some more stuff there. So I wonder what the shenanigans tab is. Alright, sleepy times. Actually, it's probably a good place to take a break for this episode. So we shall see you next time on Spirit Spiritfarer.